<laughs> You're ready to go, eh? No, no. <laughs> You're on the edge of your seat. It's good. Send the tone. Another World Cup semi final. Familiar feel, how different? Yeah, I suppose it is a bit of a familiar feel. Like, um, going back to 19, obviously playing Ireland in the quarter, and then, yeah. Obviously, I don't want the same result as 19, but yeah, it's good to be here, mate. It's um, the boys put in a massive effort and put a lot into that week, and um, you're really proud. But time to reset and uh, go again. So yeah, proud of the lads, but um, it's important we I suppose forget it. Have you ever been involved in a final fight with any captain? Nah, not like that. Um, I think one of the plays went for like six minutes, or it was like that's a crazy stat, but. Um, I think from the start you could see the way these boys started just the intent to keep work, getting after the line and just work for each other was um, and the boys that came off the bench um, did the same thing so um, yeah just a massive massive effort but um, got to do it all again this week and be even better so yeah it was, uh, it was a great game to be a part of How do you overcome the I suppose the mental challenge of coming down from the high of, of that victory and um, I suppose everything that, that came with it, number mm. one team in the world, they're unbeaten, right, and, and all that sort of stuff. How do you overcome that to then get back up again for a semi-final against the Cougars? Um, I think yesterday was, was was crucial, just like the, I call it like a decompression, just we had our families in and partners and kids, I think that's always a good indication just to you know, give yourself some time to just to be normal again for 24 hours and then Today is part of that process, the review, and then obviously looking forward with the six-day turnaround of RG, I think, yeah. For, for myself, you just got to forget it today. Like, what was done last week is, is not going to help you this week. I think the reset button is the crucial thing, and everyone will be different, but um, had the gym, we got a bit of a review after this, and then we're into it. <laughs> Ethan, can I ask you a question about the scrum, the Irish were... Uh, complaining about those afterwards. Um, I'm not going to pretend I know absolutely anything about this at all. But uh, you were in there. What, what, from your perspective, was going on when they were trying to repair and so forth? Uh, yeah, well, there wasn't too many scrums. There was only one in the first half. So, uh, you know, there was only three scrums I was a part of. So, um, yeah, well, you got to go straight and they were going around. So there's nothing else I could really say about that. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as far as the rest, though, you know, what was you saying to it at those times? Uh, nothing to me. Um, nothing else. Just keep it square, go forward, and that's about it. Does it disappoint you if there's only three scrums going around? Um, yeah. No, I was actually quite happy with not too many scrums. Um, <laughs> I think it was the reason why they left uh, me and Lowy out there for so long, but um, nah, it's all good. Not, scrums, not the whole game. Ethan, how good was it to be back out in the park? Yeah, no, good to be back. Good. Tough couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, um, it's always tough sitting in the stands, and um, but yeah, um, Gilly, the our trainers, put put me through the ring of the last few weeks, so um, yeah, it felt like I didn't really miss too. I wasn't you know struggling too much out there. Um, felt good. Well, in terms of you probably need the Pumas are a different challenge to what Ireland were, but in terms of performance. How important is that performance against Ireland as the standard for this group yeah. going forward? It is crucial, mate. Like, yeah, we'll take a lot of confidence, but we're going to go another gear. You know, and we've all seen that the World Cups are very different with the results you know, over the weekend, so um, they're going to be a different beast. And it was not so long ago that we lost to New Zealand for the first time as well. So um, we know they, when they're in a good spot and they turn up and they're a physical team. So yeah, it's crucial, like I said, we lift another another gear and, and go again. Yeah, it was a similar situation to, you know, you talked about it before, you come down to the High Dale Park and that one, and then mm. you had to get up for the Pumas if you, if you couldn't do it. What, what, what mm. did you learn, I suppose, from from that week of coming down from that high and, and not quite being able to get up for the Pumas? Um, well, you, for that week, I suppose, in Johannesburg, our back, backs were against the wall, you know. Um, so that's a sport, mate. Yeah, it's a challenge, and that's that's a World Cup. So you got to you just got to find it. Um, and I, like I said before, the reset button is the most crucial thing. Um, what we did last week ain't going to mean stuff. Or if we don't back it up this week, so 
that's the challenge of Test Footy, that's the challenge of playing at a World Cup. Um, and I suppose as leaders, we've got to make sure these boys see that for our actions and these guys lead and everyone just does their bit to turn up in the best shape uh, possible in Friday. So what it's a mental challenge. Sorry, but it's you good. Meet, um, miss, uh, your friend Pablo? He, not, he didn't play, oh. No. no, we shook hands after Mendoza, so we're all good. So, <laughs> um, yeah, learned a bit of <laughs> that last test, a bit of niggle, but nah. He's a, he's a quality player and the guy that stepped in position is playing well for us. So. Dan, in a way, it's, it's easy to fire yourself when you're facing Ireland. What will you tell yourself facing the Pumas, knowing that you nearly reach a final? It can be a booby trap? Um, I don't want to be playing for a third and fourth game again against Wales, you know, like we did in 2019. That's kind of my motivation. It's a, it's a shit week, <laughs> if I'm being brutally honest, like playing for third and fourth, getting knocked out of a semi. So that's... Regardless of who you're playing, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like you're playing in a semi-final in the World Cup, and if you don't turn up, you're in for a week that kind of it tests you mentally, physically, emotionally. But I want to yeah, make sure I turn up where the, where I am this week, and um, regardless of playing the Pumas, and try get another Monday. And it's not who the opposition is; it's about um, us getting to the ultimate goal of, of playing in the World Cup final. But all our energy is into the semi final week. Yeah, the um yeah, like I think it, it comes down to like the early in the week there's obviously a lot of detail and you got to get that right, and then towards the week goes on. I suppose for myself, I like to be left alone, and I'm a bit more grumpier than some of the other lads. But um, yeah, everyone will have their process, but we haven't gone through a review yet. But I, th I think that's probably the most crucial thing that we just set the tone as a team, and then everyone will have their own process. We've got the day off tomorrow, but it'll be a little. I suppose it'll be a bit different getting away, and but you're still in the back of your head. You've got to probably have a few more conversations with the team, your team, and just get things right. So everyone will have their different process, but um, yeah, it's just important that we just keep the little gut, at, you know, fire in your gut to get us right, right for Friday. Yeah, and have you found players like Colby valuable in the last 24 hours? Guys who were there sort of in 2019 who have been through the dirt and like say, not wanting to have another shit week is playing a third fourth player. <coughs> How valuable is, have you been having players like Colby around? Yeah, well, you just got to look back into our game. I thought, um, our leaders, you know, stepped up and it was easy just to follow them, you know. Um, old granddad Whitelock coming on and, you know, getting that turnover at the end, it's just, you know, experience, um, can't beat it. And, you know, all I want to do is send the guy, these old boys out, out on a high note and um, that's my job at the moment. Just a question to both of you, um, no, Colby, but this is for you too. Did you guys all watch last night's game in particular and what did you think of yeah, I did watch it. It was, mate, it was a pretty high tempo game mate, for a quarter final. And, um, yeah, it was a great game. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, that last 10 minutes, it could have probably swung both ways. But um, I suppose the team, it's funny because both teams, like Ireland and France, were really, people thought they were going to be the, the two dominant teams in this World Cup. And, it's just the team that shows up on the day, I reckon, like pro form and or means kind of nothing. So, yeah, you just, France would be obviously disappointed being a home nation not playing, but that's just footy. Um, and full credit to South Africa for getting the job done. They, they played bloody well. I bet you're not disappointed that France are out of the tournament, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would, you know, Jeez, yeah, you're like, we, can't, <laughs> we can't do much about it. Like, yeah, but disappointed, but... Um, it would be nice to have them again, but again, it's not going to happen. So. Is it hard not to possibly think about South Africa? No. no. Oh, sorry, Sarah. Completely out of your mind. Completely out of my mind. Archie's the, the target for us, and that's all our focus needs to be. And what are the different changes that Argentina plays from Um, I suppose a more probably direct, like runners and set piece game, I reckon. Very physical, passionate men. Um, but still, they got like they use the ball 
um, pretty well. Like, and, we, and we've played Argentina a lot, so um, we kind of know what, how they run. But World Cups are different, you know. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a different beast, and they'll, both, they'll turn up with a real passion and desire to, to beat us or look for it. Could you return you, you feed yourself with a little bit of fear before Ireland? And do you find this fear versus the Pumas? I personally do. Like I've, we've been in the team where we've was it lost to them in Aussie, lost to them in New Zealand for the first time, and uh, that caused us, you know, it caused you know, the team a lot of hurt. So I, st I personally still have that fear of, um, and that fear drives you. It's good, it's good to have that and knowledge that and sort of let it energize you and get to a place where you need to be. So you only got time for one more. The fear yeah, of retirement, keeping no. motivated during the ball, looking up at the pitch. I'm not thinking anything about <laughs> that stuff. That, 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 like I said, so that kind of stuff weighs me down. Um, yeah. Just turn up each day and still want to win another Monday. I think uh, Jason Ryan talked about the pressure of World Cups and Cups might need just to make the hurt of the team really get there to its own peak. Um, France and Ireland have gone, you've gone on that, and then these big games. Yeah, like, cause it's for the probably the guys that have been there. Like, it's um, it's important. You, like, it's probably like a start of a week thing. Like right now, you, you think about it and then you kind of park it up. Let it energise you. you. I'm not thinking about that during the week. I don't reckon because it it kind of pulls you away where you need to be. So acknowledge it if it motivates you. Sweet. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. But um. I think it's the past experiences as leaders that we, oh, we could have done this better last in 19, oh, we could have done this better. That's what kind of things that I'm probably thinking about um, and bring these boys with us because these, if you put the leader side, these other guys are just as important. The way that Lowy and, and the group turned up on, you know, said they gave 60 minutes as a front row, that's like, that's inspiring stuff. Like, so, like I said, we've got to, Takes a little bit of lessons, but we got to go again and keep working hard and um, give ourselves a chance on Friday.